The gill straps aren't really moving. They're being robbed. These crooks know the gill straps are out of town, so they're trying to move the gill straps permanently. Know what it takes to stop a crime? Your help and your neighbors. Take a bite out of crime. For more than two generations, McGruff the Crime Dog and the National Crime Prevention Council have worked with a wide range of community organizations, federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies, and countless people from small towns to our largest cities. With growing concern over crime, it is even more critical to keep future generations safe from criminals. Crime takes a tremendous toll on both mental and physical health. Public involvement is key to our ability to celebrate safe communities. Public involvement is also the strongest vaccine that will protect people against crime and make our communities healthy. The health risks that crime play are all too real. The consequences impact our daily lives. Public safety and public health, they go hand in hand. Communities can't be healthy unless they're first safe, which is where law enforcement has a pivotal role in making sure that we do our part to make communities safe so that they are able to thrive and be healthy. We know that hurt people oftentimes hurt people, and we see that perpetuated in, in vicious cycles of violence in communities when those things are untreated. The community is very much a part of the Metropolitan Police Department, and the way that we are able to do that in that space is to be inclusive, to be open, to be transparent with the communities that we serve, and ultimately really having our department be a reflection of our communities. Let's get back to some basics. The police should reach out to the community, and every community should be able to reach out to the police. The National Crime Prevention Council is working with the U.S. Department of Justice and the Bureau of Justice Assistance to reduce violent crime by bringing the police and communities closer together to start the conversation and help stop crime. As public health leaders, join us. Together with the cops, they formed a neighborhood watch program. Public involvement was critical to early crime prevention efforts, and it's what's needed most to keep our own children safe. I would like all my friends to be there. I want my mother to be there. My hair is going to be done so beautiful. A lot of music, a nice blue dress. I want to be beautiful for every single person that goes there. If I got shot, I want to have a nice funeral. Every day, 10 children are killed by gunfire. Help stop the violence. That was me when I was 11, helping McGrath talk about the urgency to reduce gun violence. Literally just a couple of weeks after that commercial was recorded, there was actually a bullet that grazed my leg in my Bronx street that I loved still so much. Now, as a mom of three kids of my own, I wouldn't want my children to ever have the same type of fear. Reducing violent crime needs to be a public health priority. Oh no, what happened? Today, the internet gives criminals more places to lurk. The sale of fake goods can put dangerous products into young hands, fuel organized crime, and hurt our economy. The need to act increases each day, with new reports about how children are dying from fake pills laced with fentanyl that they're buying on social media sites. Working with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, a new campaign, Go For Real, is giving teens and tweens the tools they need to spot fakes. So why don't you tell us which one is real, which they one is fake, it. and then the differences that you notice between the two. The real ones are these, and these are fake ones. This one is slightly faded, while this one is more in bold. You guys did a really, really good job. You did a really, really good job. One of the more insidious growing threats to young people is the overseas manufacturing of illicit vaping products. It undermines prevention efforts aimed at children and presents additional health risks to adults. The National Crime Prevention Council is working with law enforcement agencies, prosecutors, industry, and others to call attention and stop this criminal enterprise dead in its tracks. Already, more than half a million of these products have been seized because of this growing public-private partnership. Each day, our first responders see the threats to health and safety posed by crime. Violent crime has a direct impact on the mental health of first responders and law enforcement officers. In recognizing this, we're able to stand up the programs that can help communities, individuals, and also our officers so that we can look out not only for ourselves, but others as a law enforcement family and then look out for our communities and our neighborhoods and other individuals who might be affected. 
safe communities are healthy communities. A strong partnership between crime prevention and the public health community will make the United States safer and healthier. Let's work together. McGruff, tell them what we need to do. Help take a bite out of crime.